Hi, I'm a professor at the Hokkaido University Museum. And here we report a new dinosaur from Hokkaido Island. And it's the, uh, from Nak Nakagawa town. It's the northern end of the island. And this is based on fragmentary specimens. We have only five pieces, but it contains a lot of information. So in our study, we discovered that this, this is a new, new dinosaur. So we named it Paralitherizanosaurus japonicus. We found that how this claw is evolved in the group of Therizanosauridae, and we found this claw was used as a rake. So they probably, this dinosaur used this claws to bring the uh, branch to the mouth to feed on these leaves on the branch. And also, this is the uh, youngest uh, record of Therizanosaur fossil from Japan. So that tells us this kind of dinosaur, Therizanosaurus, lived quite long range of time from uh, 120 million years ago to up to 83 million years ago. And also, uh, looking at the uh, geographic distribution of the, the, this dinosaur, uh, Therizanosaurid from the Lake Cretaceous have been known from the Gobi Desert to the uh, southern China. Now, this parallel Therizanosaurus was found from Japan, which is an eastern edge of the Asian continent, which expands the geographic distribution of this dinosaur. Most people know about the connection between Northeastern Asia and Northwestern North America as the Bering Land Bridge. We're looking at the land as it would have looked 70 million years ago. We're looking at the North Pole, which is right here. And so this is North America and this is Siberia. This is Sakhalin Island. There's Hokkaido down there. And so this brown represents a land bridge. About 100 to 110 million years ago, these plates are in place, creating this land bridge that goes back and forth that allows dinosaurs from Asia to move to North America and dinosaurs from North America to move back to Asia. And so when I mentioned that the new dinosaur from Japan was exciting to me was because their therizinosaurs are known from North America. They are known from Central Asia, but here in Alaska, in a place called Denali National Park, we found the footprints of dinosaurs that we thought looked like therizinosaur but maybe this tells us something about what these dinosaurs actually looked like. Lastly, this was found from marine deposits, which tells us that this dinosaur lived near the shoreline. And this is the second record from marine deposit. So this is quite important and very uh, uh, valuable fossil for uh, dinosaur records. And it tells us this dinosaur actually lived uh, near the sea, which we didn't know before in the Asian continent. So this dinosaur or this discovery is uh, very important, not only for Japanese studies, but also in other parts of the world. So we are hoping that in the future, this is only very uh, fragmentary specimen. And we think that the remains of the rest of the skeleton still buried in, in a mountain. So we tried to go back and have found the rest of the skeleton, which tells us more about this dinosaur. And also I'm hoping that uh, we can expand this, this study to other uh, therizinosaurs from the rest of the world, which will tell us about more about the evolution of this biz uh, bizarre kind of dinosaurs.